Here's an emergency project we're fixing to get started on. Awesome boat here. It's just drafted out a little bit too much, or dredged out a little bit too much underneath the uh, boat uh, for the seawall to sound. The dirt's actually falling out from underneath the seawall sheets. So we're gonna come back with some 20 foot sheets and get this uh, put in the ground a little bit deeper so we don't lose any more, more soil from behind the seawall. see where the dirt's actually sinking in behind the seawall right here where the uh, prop wash is probably washed out a lot of the sand along the bottom side of the uh, vinyl seawall all right starting to demo the decking over here and we trying to figure out why this wall is bowed out and we see the reason right there this is another one of those stainless steel rods it wasn't truly stainless steel looks like they corroded right in two you see the nuts still in front of the wall with the rods corroded in two and the walls actually start to lean out. I think we got another one right here too. Yep, there's another one right there. You can see stainless steel rod and the There's a vise in the trailer where you gotta use. Something break, they're breaking the piling. It just pulled out of the pole. Keep on going. Get those threads cleaned up so you can get the man ray threaded on there. Let me find the vice and I'll push that rod for you. Okay, that'll make it easy. got the 20 foot of sheets installed in this area right here we've got the framing going back in now getting everything leveled back up so we can get all the decking reinstalled Hey, we're removing all the mooring poles now. They've leaned over from the wall, pushing out. The tie back rods failed, of course. So here's one of the eight inch 30 footers we removed. We're gonna go ahead and install some uh, pile wrap on that. So that's gonna be our frame height. Uh, okay. And then two foot from that, that'll be top. That'll prevent the uh, treated bore worms for, uh, from eating up the poles. 
also extend the life of the poles for a long time. Yeah, this is not a very good video so far. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Already got a big old gap in the top. <laughs> I'm going to have to cut this one out. Relocating this elevator lift to uh, fit the boat that he's got on it. foot vinyl sheet pilings right here we heard a couple pops and it was the old stainless steel tie back rods in the section that broke off so we went ahead and came back and added three more 5 8 tie back rods and these actually go 20 foot back into the ground so we've got a additional tie backs on this wall where we're facing the front of this wall right now there's one of the rods right here that hose got hooked up 20 foot back into the ground.
we got this project completed right out of week. Got the mooring pole stood back up straight, stood up the sun deck cover. It was actually leaning out from the seawall, pushing on it, got it stood back up, readjusted the boat lift, got it leveled up looking good, and the vinyl sheet pilings set in place. Y'all stay tuned. We've got plenty more projects coming up. That uh, boat lift that I had to do some adjustments on, doing a video on it right now, how to make it fit inside the boathouse. If y'all haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe, like, share. If you got any comments, leave me some comments. I'll be happy to try and get back in touch with you. Thanks.